Archiving a repository on GitHub will put it into a read-only state. This will prevent code changes and also prevent new issues from being opened. Archiving a repository can be a useful way to indicate that the code is no longer being maintained, while still making all of the code and its history publicly accessible. To get started archiving, first you'll want to log into your GitHub account and then navigate to the page for the repository that you want to archive. So here I'm on the test repo page, and this is the repository we're going to go archive. Now in the top toolbar here, I'm going to go click on the settings for this repository. So I'll click settings here, and then on the repository settings, I'll scroll all the way down to the bottom to the danger zone here. This is going to let us perform potentially dangerous operations on the repository. In this case, we're going to go and archive the repository. So I'll say archive this repository. Now GitHub is going to make sure that we really do want to archive this repository. So archiving does have some consequences, and GitHub also has some tips to consider before going and archiving things. Now, unlike deleting a repository, you can undo archiving, but it still should be considered a dangerous and major operation that you're performing. And GitHub recommends that you go and close out any open issues because once you archive, you will not be able to go and respond to issues or close issues. And also making a note in the readme file for your repository to explain why it has been archived. Again, once the repository has been archived, you cannot go and make any future code changes to it. If you're confident that the repository is in a good state and you do want to archive it, you'll just need to type in the repository name to go and confirm. So this would be the full repository name, in this case, my username, and then the repo name. And then click the button that says, I understand the consequences, archive this repository. At this point, the repository has now been archived. So again, everything is now in a read-only state. No new issues can be created and no code changes can be pushed to it either. If somebody lands on the page for this repository, they will see this banner at the top of the page that is saying, hey, this repository has been archived by the owner. No code changes can be made. Now that does not prevent them from going and downloading the code or viewing all of the code history or even from viewing the issue history for this repository. The only thing is that they will not be able to submit new issues and will not be able to submit pull requests or code changes to this repository. So all of the history of the repository is still accessible, just nothing can be changed in it. Now, again, unlike deleting, archiving is something that you can undo fairly safely. So if we wanted to go and undo the archiving here, let's say that we realized we actually still do want to maintain this repository or need to make some changes before really archiving it for the final time, we can just go back to the settings. Go back to the danger zone here and say unarchive the repository. So this will go and unarchive the code. Again, it's going to warn us about all the things that will then uh, change once we've unarchived it. We'll go and confirm that we do want to unarchive this repository. So I'll type the full repository name again, and then go and unarchive the repository here. Now this repository is back into its normal state. You can go make code changes and issues can be opened again. So that's how you can archive a repository on GitHub. Again, this can be a useful way to indicate that the repository is no longer being maintained while still letting people browse the code and its history.